Hello! In this series, I'm making VR shoes. Shoes that allow you to walk and stay in the same place while you're playing a VR game so you don't run into the wall. In this build series, I go into all the details about how I make these shoes, how I prototype, and the successes and more often failures that I run into because those who succeed the most also fail the most. I posted a YouTube poll asking you guys what you wanted me to work on next and the next support rig came out on top just barely over feet trackers. That happens to be also what I want to work on next, so that's great. So this is my current support rig and it suffers from two major limitations. One, you need to bolt into the ceiling and two, you need a low ceiling. This ceiling is seven feet from the ground here. This is in my basement, so really this support rig is only good for a basement setup. So in this video, I've started putting together a support rig that doesn't require bolting to the ceiling or to the wall. By the way, for the poll, if you're interested in the first option where I share my thoughts on my setup now that I've used it a lot, I wrote an article that goes into all those details on my Hackaday page and I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. So here's a simplified idea. I have this piece of plywood here and this is what the user will be walking on. I have it cut in a circular shape then I would have a pair of these rollers, I'm calling them, that would ride along the edge. So you can see here, they grip the edge of the piece of plywood and they'll be able to ride along the edge as the user turns in whatever direction they want to. And these would be attached to whatever is up here that the user is actually tied into. Here's the detailed design for the next rig. I have these here, these rollers that will ride along the edge. You see there's some bearings here and some wheels here. The whole thing will turn as the user turns and since the rollers need to grip both sides of the platform these legs here suspend the platform in the air this is very similar to slide mill designs like on the catwalk c or omni one and let's just get started building this so i put together the platform it has the carpet on top just like it did before and there's all these legs on the bottom this is conduit as you saw, I can fold it up so it's easier to carry and uh, easier to store and it, it can actually fit in my car now. I just cut the circle in half and added a few hinges to be able to fold it up like that. The legs also make it so I can step right on the edge and the whole thing doesn't tip. It's pretty stable. I'm gonna test out walking on it with the VR shoes now. The microphone I'm using to record the sound is right here. This platform has some issues. Let's see if you can figure out what they are. first issue is that this thing's just louder. It's louder than it was before. The second issue is the line, the part that I cut so that the thing could fold up. Every time I roll my shoe over it, it's a very noticeable bump and it's louder and sometimes it stops my shoe from going over the edge. The wheel will get caught in that edge and uh, then it just, it just stops my foot. So the cut I made in this platform so that I could fold it, it has to go. Uh, it's causing too many problems. I know I could make some sort of fancy hinge or some sort of track system to fix it, but I think it's gonna take too much time and I don't think it's worth the effort. I think the previous platform did a better job reducing the noise because it had a lot more surface area touching the ground. 
the whole bottom of the platform was touching the ground and it reduced the noise. Whereas this has relatively a low amount of area touching the ground. It's just the legs that touch it. I also think having this layer of carpet tiles helps too. So I've already taken these lessons I've learned with this platform and revised my design to account for them. So here's what my revised design looks like. There's no cut in the middle of the platform, so that issue will be removed. And then to raise the platform up, I have this material here. I'm thinking this will be a block of styrofoam that lifts it up. Styrofoam should help reduce the noise. I might have other layers of material, like maybe I'll have a layer of carpet pads in here or a rug or something. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But yes, the, this is what it looks like. In the next video, I'll work on putting the revised design together. So thank you guys for watching. You know what to do if you like the video. See you guys next time.